probably seen these on the internet these jumbo satin bonnets but i've never actually purchased one i've always been purchasing the regular sized bonnets and it just it's not doing the things that i need it to do i have more hair now and it's actually kind of uncomfortable trying to shove all of my chunky twists into a bonnet so i'm hoping that maybe this will work out this is supposed to be the super jumbo size so i'm expecting it to be like those big bonnets that i've been seeing on instagram and everywhere I bought this new Shea Moisture shampoo. It's a clarifying shampoo and I'm just really trying to get all the dirt and jankiness out of my hair. It says that it's low porosity protein free shampoo, moisturized and balanced, moisture resistant, curly, coily hair. <laughs> I don't have loose curls but I'm trying it anyway. What really sold me on it was the fact that it's sulfate free and color safe because you know I have colored locks. I also don't have a permanent shampoo that I stick to. I like trying new things after a period of time. The last time I washed my hair was with some Giovanni clarifying shampoo and it was working out pretty great but the bottle just ran out and when I went to the beauty supply store they didn't have what I needed. So I'm looking forward to trying this bad boy out. And then I also purchased this jojoba oil natural hairspray from Eden Body Works. It's for your hair. It says that it's paraben free and sulfate free. It's a metal bottle, which is kind of cool. The reason why I bought this was because I like to spritz my hair with oil and water daily. And I heard that jojoba oil is one of the great essential oils to use on your locks. So yeah, so I'm going to wash my hair, come back and just start to style. I plan on also doing a hot oil treatment but yeah we'll see how that works out. I probably won't film all of that. I want this video to be really quick. I heard multiple times that like t-shirts are better for your hair instead of cotton towels. So that's what's up with this. I spritz my hair with the hobo oil and coat each strand evenly and then I take my black rubber bands and I coat them in olive oil because I want this hairstyle to last for about three weeks so I want the ends of my locks to be properly moisturized. I take a rat tail comb and I basically try to maintain the original parting my loctician started for me. Then I grab my favorite gel which is really thick and I apply it to the roots of my locks and I make sure that I palm roll counterclockwise and distribute the gel all the way down to the roots of my locks. You don't necessarily have to palm roll counterclockwise, but that's how my roots are, and I basically follow this process to the second lock as well. Then, I take each lock and I start to twist them against each other. However, when I do this, I make sure that each lock is being twisted counterclockwise as I don't want the style to unravel, and I do this all the way to the bottom of my hair. I take one of the rubber bands that I've coated in olive oil and I secure the style. Very liberal with the gel because I have 4C hair and I need my edges to be slicked down. I do this process for my entire head and in about 2 hours I'm finished with this style. I love this style a lot because it just gives my hair more fullness that I don't have on a regular basis and if taken cared for properly the style can last me about 3 weeks which is really convenient.